everyone. This is Maria, and this is my friend Steve Atkinson. He's one of the writers in our writers group, Books Born Here. Hi, Steve. How are you Hi. doing? Hi. Fine, thank you. <laughs> and so Steve here is going to show us this painting he did, this watercolor of the RMS Titanic. And so can you tell us about the painting, Steve? Uh, yes. Uh, it has a, a watercolor wash, and then I went over it with... Uh, with pen and ink. Okay. And I made this one a little bit darker to make it more dramatic. And uh, and I found a picture of the real iceberg uh, for a reference. And uh, and this is this is the boatman uh, delivering uh, people to their fate. Okay, the people that survived the Titanic, yes, the sinking yes. of the Titanic. And it wasn't always a happy. Uh, and this is uh, I couldn't find a. Re this is uh, the, this represents the, the souls of those who didn't make it. Okay, the souls that the people that perished on yeah. the Titanic. This is so beautiful, Steve. Oh, thank and you. And I just really love this. Thank you so much. And I I love your. Uh, the monologues? The monologues, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Steve. You've been so supportive of me as I've been working on these monologues. And so, you guys, I've been working, my big project that I've been working on for a couple of years is the a collection of monologues of the people associated with Titanic and the RMS Titanic and the sinking. And so, I'm hoping to get that done next year, Steve. I really need you guys to root me on so I can finish this project. There was one I was especially moved by. That was the uh, uh, Japanese man. Who, oh, okay. Uh, I remember that one, the, the uh, passenger who was from Japan. And uh, he was the only passenger. He was the only passenger from Japan on the RMS Titanic. And uh, his fate was, was wasn't too happy uh, afterwards. Right. He, he survived, but he he he, uh, he had a chance of going down with the ship. But he, he wanted to, he had a family to support. That's right. And I was very touched by that. And he that. wanted to live, and so he made it onto a boat. But then he uh, he suffered for that later when he yeah. returned home to his country. And so you guys, um, I can hardly wait to finish these and share these stories, uh, the stories of these people with you. And I just love this so much, Steve. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. So beautiful. So Steve. You said that you have not been painting for very long, right? Well, I I did when I was a kid, and then I stopped, and then different times I started again. Oh, okay. And so mostly you've been spending your years writing, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, and, and drawing. And drawing, right? Sketching. You brought some of your drawings to to critique group. And Steve has some of the best stories, you guys. He writes some of the best children's stories. So creative. And so you've got to get those stories out there, Steve, because there's nobody else out there who can write them like you can. And so anyways, you guys, so thank you again, Steve. I just wanted to share this with you guys and hope you're having a great day. Okay, Steve, I think we should get over to Critique Group. The gang is waiting for us. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Bye.